If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be top players that I believe need an upgraded Mutt. Now, guys, before we get into this video, let me clarify something. This does not any attack EA and saying that they haven't upgraded these guys or it's been so long. I get it guys, we're barely in week three, right? Understandable. I don't, I'm not saying that these cards need an upgrade in terms of where the hell are their cards. It's, I'm saying these are the guys that I really want to see get upgraded in this game right now. Like, these are guys that I think if they get their next upgrade, they're gonna be game changing or fun or interesting. Something about these guys, but these are the guys that I believe that I would like to see in the next ones. Like for instance, Lamar had an 86, he was good, but his 89 was better. Matthew had an 80, uh, 85, but his 89 was better. Same thing with Garrett. I would like to see these guys get a card like those much, uh, those MVP, Superstar MVP cards or something like that. I would love to see that. But guys, before we get into today's list, make sure you're on below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on, boys. Keep on the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. As always, guys, let's keep grinding out to 24K. We're not that close to shit. Things have slowed down a little bit, but let's keep growing. Let's keep, let's keep grinding, guys. Make sure to smash the like button. Every like you guys do drop in each video does help, of course. But... Let's hop into this here for the first player on the list. Now, guys, a lot of these players are base leads for the most part. There's one guy on this list that isn't going to be a base lead, so I'm going to start with. This is a guy that I really wish had a early card because with the way this game plays right now, I feel like he'd break the game. That's Evan Engram. With the way Evan Engram plays, he'd break this game. 83 speed. So he's one of the fastest tight ends in the game at a goal as a goal card. Now, the thing with him is, though, is that most tight ends are going to have like 81. Like, Kittle has an 81, I believe, or an 82. A basically version of him, even like an 82, 84. Let's just say he got like an 88. He did like an 87, 88 speed. And with the way this game plays, where tight ends just literally get open no matter what, all he would need to do is be fast. I'm telling you, Evan Engram would be super glitchy right now. I would love to see Engram in the game. I think it'd be super fun. And I think, honestly, he would be the meta for tight end. I think he'd honestly take the cake in terms of tight ends. Just, just to be honest with you guys. Because that speed just speed just can't be taught. Like, that, that's this is a, he's the kind of guy... That could quite literally dominate the game. And he's a cheap, and he'd be a cheap price tag as a goal. Kamara, Alvin Kamara, just like Christian McCaffrey, has really been screwed in the past few years of Madden. A, they either don't get that many upgrades. Or B, when they do get upgrades, they suck. And C, when they get these upgrades, they're slow. There's just so much wrong with these cards. Now, 82 speed on this Kamara, I guess that an 80 overall isn't horrible. Considering he's an 80 overall, I'm assuming if he was like Barkley's 82, maybe up an 83, 84. Now, Kamara, the issue with Kamara, like I said, McCaffrey... Last year, we get a Kamara. He's way slower than everyone else. Madden Rawson is way slower. I mean, in real life, I don't see Kamara as that slow. Apparently, he is. I don't think so. But I love Kamara in real life. He looks super cool when he's on the field, especially with the turf tape and everything. I love playing with him. I he's a cool name uh, in general. Like, if you guys if you guys are Kamara guys, you like the way he plays. I love to have him to use him as a receiving back. Use him, he can do everything. He's a well-rounded back, and that's what I like about him. But... Again, I don't know when we see an upgrade for him. Now, ultimate kickoff could be potentially a, a contender for that. I truly hope they don't screw up his stats because I, at this point, come on. Like, they fixed McCaffrey and Henry. They made, they made them faster. So, I, I appreciate that. But now it's time to do the same thing with Alvin Kamara because they had those guys so behind in the past years. Next on the list, we have Von Miller. Let's us a linebacker for the Broncos. You guys already know. Von Miller and Matt go head-to-head -head all year with who's going to be the best pass rushing left outside linebacker. And just like last year and this year, Khalil Max takes the current edge. And then Von Miller has a series master. He took the edge last year, but then Khalil Mack came back for Halloween. Right now, Khalil Mack's just the better card as a base lead. If Von Miller gets the next upgrade, like an ultimate kickoff card, 90 overall, he's going to have a 90 power move, and like an 83 speed, and over a 90 play rec, and a high block shit. He's going to be a game-changing, overpowered left outside linebacker, and he's going to be super, super good. Now, I would love to see this Von Miller card get an upgrade. I don't know how soon it will be. I mean, ultimate kickoff's your best bet. I Quite honestly, like, it's not going to be flashbacks, heavyweights, or veterans. Ultimate kickoff would be your best bet, and then if not, you have to wait for like a team of the week or a mutt heroes. Actually, I could see, but again, that takes some time. Next on the list, Jamal Adams. Guys, Jamal Adams honestly might be the best guy on this list. As a base card, he's one of the best cards in the game. 85 speed, 88 hit power, 83 zone coverage. He looks like a baby at water. 80 man coverage. You give this guy a 90 overall kickoff card, and he ends up with an above 90 kick power, a, probably an 87 zone coverage, powered up and chemed up, we'll get to a 90. 84 man, let's just say, and he probably ends up with like an 88 speed, plus being powered up, probably gets an 89 speed. That would be hands down, 90 zone, 90 hit power, 
almost 90 speed. He would be hands down the one of the like probably the best defensive card in the game. I think he'd even be better than Isaiah Simmons at that point. I would love to see a Jamal Adams upgrade. You guys don't understand how overpowered and dominant that card would actually end up being. Now the next guy, I understand it's a sophomore season, but it's time to unleash him. It's time to start letting him be a Madden God. That's Kyler Murray. Because Kyler Murray has all the makings. All the makings of the next Madden God. Because what does he play like? He plays like, if you took some of Vic's speed off him, if, in terms of Madden, right? In terms of how his card will be built. He, if you take Vic's speed off a, little, a tiny bit, just a little bit of Vic's top end speed, and you add it to his accuracy, it's Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray's got a strong arm. He's pretty accurate. And he's fast. So I could see Kyler Murray being like, it's tough because we don't have a guy like this. Like we have Russell Wilson, who's a he's a scrambler, but he's not a crazy fast guy, right? We have Mahomes, who's a scrambler, but he's he's a pocket first, scramble second guy. We have Michael Vick, who's like a scramble first. Then we have Lamar, which is a mix of both in Madden, but closer to Vick. Then there's Kyler Murray. If we can, if he becomes a god in Madden, he will be super accurate while also being really fast, and I would really like to see that. And he, he's just fun to play with. If you ever play with Kyler Murray, he looks really cool in game. Looks really, he just feels good with the way his throwing animation is. I would love to see Kyler Murray. I know we have this card, but again, an 88 card of Kyler Murray would be super, super good. Now, this guy, for sure, is being screwed in Madden now. I think he should have one of the top running back cards in general. But we'll let that slide for now. And that's Saquon Barkley. Guys, I know he was injured, but he still is a top two running back. like Or top three. It's him, McCaffrey, and Zeke. Top three. I, I don't know who you want to take there. Those are my top three in terms of who I think are the best. Now, are they, now is, do I think Saquon's in the same league as Zeke? No, I, I think Saquon's better, personally. Um, Zeke's in a better situation. Zeke's a good running back, but Saquon can do everything. Quite literally everything. Anything he wants and on a bad team while doing it. But Saquon, guys, an upgrade to Saquon. Do you give him a 90 overall card, a 90 overall kickoff card? He ends up with an 88 speed. At least, right? 88 speed. So powered up 89, maybe even a 90. Which was, oh, probably 90, because last year they gave his next card was in, uh, the Mud Heroes. And he got a 90 speed. And he was overpowered. So maybe 90. Maybe 90, then powered up 91. His break tackle will be over 80. His change of direction will be over 90. His agility will be over 90. His excel will be over 90. He'd be one of the best speedbacks, or the best speedback, while also having great agility and being a partial power back, which I actually think his power is a little. I think his power is a little low. His break tackle should definitely be like an 85 starting because he's one of the best break tackle running backs I've ever seen. But moving on to the final card on this list, guys. Now this card, I know. You might be hearing a little Giants bias here, but I promise you it's not. It's simply who I know will break the game. And this card, this is a guy that everyone enjoys. When he gets a card, everyone gets excited and they go ahead and they pick him up. His power up always skyrockets. Now the issue with this card though, specifically getting an upgrade, the only thing I've ever had an issue with is probably his height because we have guys like Tyreek Hill. He's kind of like Tyreek Hill light, but the way he usually works is Tyreek Hill, take a little speed off Tyreek Hill and add to his catching and route running by a decent amount. And that's how you get Odell. Now, Odell, if he gets an upgrade, he's going to be a monster. If he gets a 90 overall kickoff card, let's just say, he will have a 90 speed. Powered up, 91. He's going to be right there with Tyreek Hill. No difference. 90 jumping. He's going to have above 80 catching, above 80 catch traffic, above 90 spec catch. All meet, all middle across the board, 84, 85 route running. He's going to be a monster. He's going to be a monster. And then, of course, you power him up with go deep. And you get um, some cams on him and everything. You could probably get him up to 90 deep route running. No, maybe, maybe a little shorter. Maybe like an 86, 87. Which could hinder him a little bit. But his short and medium are going to be just amazing as a route runner. That is it for the list. That pretty much wraps up everyone. So to sum it all for you guys, we got Evan Ingram, Alvin Kamara, Von Miller, Jamal Adams, Kyler Murray, Saquon Barkley, and Odell. Now, if I had to pick two there that I think that like I would like the second they came out, I'd pie. Simple. It'd be Jamal Adams for one. Jamal Adams is going to be a monster. And probably, let's go with three, let's go with three. Jamal Adams, Saquon, and probably Von Miller. Those are the three, like, for sure I'd buy. And it all depends on the upgrade. If Evan Ingram got a 90, he's, 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 getting, he's getting bought two. But those are my three. They're all good there, though. My least favorite one out of the, out of the whole list, and that's hard, probably Kamara only, because I think they might screw his card. But other than that, guys, I really enjoyed making this list. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. If you aren't to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell, boys. Join the family. Make sure to do a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know who you would like to add to this list, or if you were, who you've been thinking about that needs an upgrade so far in Madden 21. But guys, better for the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out all the other videos. I'm out. And if you need coins, pick up any players in Madden. Go down below to mutreserve.com. Use code Poodle 15% off. There's crazy discounts right now. Use my code to get an additional 15% off. I'm out. Peace.